I don't know where she came from. Kinda turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about. And I just wanna tell her how I Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. Welcome. And if you've been here for a while, then welcome back. So for today's video, I have a um, what's for dinner crock pot recipes. So I share with you five recipes that it was our first time having any of them too, but they were a hit. We enjoyed all of them. And um, I'll have them linked in the description box below. I'm sure I can find where I found them. So I will do that. I thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the video and maybe there'll be one that you're interested in trying. Like I said, they were all good. Um, and if you like the content, then feel free to subscribe, stick around. I'd love to have you here. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And it's it means so much to me that you take the time out of your days to watch my videos. That means a lot. So I hope you're all doing great. And I will share these recipes with y'all. So this first recipe was the Crock-Pot Cheesy Chicken Tater Tot Casserole. And um, it called for tater tots. My store was out, so I just got these. Well, I call them they tater rounds, but I call them hash rounds. And you just need um, a bag of tater tots. And then this this recipe, it was good. It was, but it also called for bacon pieces, the real bacon pieces. I did not have any. And so I thought, well, I'll just improvise. I've got bacon bits. No. No. If you don't have the bacon pieces, you don't have bacon, then just wait or leave it out. Um, <clears throat> that was the only thing about this recipe. Those bacon bit pieces were not good after it sat in there. But um, it, was, it was good, except for that. And then one pound of chicken some two cups of shredded cheddar cheese milk and salt and pepper and just dump it in it cooks for on low four to six hours and it was good like i said if i'd had the actual if i had bacon to cut up and put in there it would have been so much better but yeah that's what we did for this one So this next one was meatball sandwiches, like meatball subs, and um, I got the idea for this from Raylan in one of her videos, so I will link that below, but it's just the uh, meatballs, frozen meatballs with marinara sauce. So it was so simple, so easy. I know you'll see that I put them on hot dog buns. Well, again, another ingredient that my local store didn't have, and plus, honestly, the sub buns were about four dollars hot dog buns or dollar something so it was cheaper and it was a hit So guys, we've come to my favorite part of the videos where I share the devotion with you from the Daily Strength for Women devotion. And the title of the devotion I want to share with you today is A Quiet Place. And the verse is from Mark 6.31. 
and it reads, Have you ever tried to rest in a noisy place or with people constantly running in and out of a room? Jesus and his disciples were in one of those busy environments. There was such a constant stream of people coming and going that they couldn't eat, much less rest. That's when Jesus had an idea. He said, he told them to come with him to a quiet place so they could get some rest. There's something about a quiet place that provides healing physically, emotionally, and spiritually. When was the last time you could be still? Where you could rest? Where you could spend uninterrupted time with God? Time with Jesus provides a rest we can't get any other way. The Bible says that our mouths say what's in our hearts. When our hearts are full of turmoil, stress, and anxiety, unkind words will erupt. We'll, we'll hurl impatient words at those we love. But when our hearts are full from quiet times with Jesus, His sweetness will overflow in all that we do. When was the last time you spent some quiet moments with God? So guys, I hope that was a blessing to you. I know it is to me, and it speaks volumes to me because I have noticed that. On the days where I'm busy and I don't take those moments of quiet time with the Lord and anxiety and worry and all that, it's, I'm not a pleasant person. And I don't like to be that way. And um, I want to be what God would have me to be. So I know those quiet times are very important. So it was a blessing to me and I hope it was to you. So y'all, this next recipe is chicken and gravy. And I have made this for years i'll try to find the recipe and link it but it's just a can of cream of chicken two packs of gravy mix and a half a cup of water or chicken broth with your chicken you just put it in there and let it cook and i usually um just like i did this day serve it with cream potatoes some green beans a roll it's it is so good that gravy is so good on the potatoes so this one's always always a hit So for this fourth recipe, this is slow cooker ranch chicken. And you need chicken, a package of ranch mix. Um, it also called for a pack of cream cheese. We don't eat cream cheese. So my boys I'm sure probably would, but I don't. So I used um, heavy whipping cream. And then two cups of shredded cheese and some bacon crumbles. Again, I didn't have bacon, so I left that out. but. This was really good. I served it on um, tortillas. And this night was a busy night. So, yeah, you'll see we just put it on paper plates with some uh, breadsticks that we got at Italian breadsticks from Little Caesars our boys wanted on the way home. So we got that and we served this up on some tortillas and it was good. It was all gone. So the last crock pot recipe is taco crock pot hash brown casserole. And you need a pound of beef, some minced garlic, cheddar cheese soup, and shredded hash browns, some taco cheese, sour cream, rotel, and taco seasoning. And you'll see I didn't use the rotel or the minced garlic. We just not a, you know, we don't eat a lot of that. So um, but I'm sure it's good in it. But this was delicious. It was all gone too. So I hadn't used that cheddar cheese soup before. Like I said in my casserole, I was supposed to add it to one and I forgot. I bought it and left it out. But it was really good. This one, like I said, all of them were good. All of them were really good. And that one was, yeah, there was no leftovers of that.
So y'all, we're coming to the end of today's video. I thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope maybe I gave you some ideas, some new recipes to try. And yeah, if you like the content and you're not already, then feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I hope you have a blessed and fantastic weekend. And Lord willing, we will see you in the next one. Be blessed.